This one is strong. Th that one is like you from know. Delaware. I can drink. I can drink a bottle of wine by myself and not get drunk. <laughs> but if I have a very strong beer, <laughs> on the second one, I'm like, ooh. Yeah. No, I know what you mean. Especially. Um, um, I think with an empty stomach, though, it's even worse. No, no, no. I, it's a good thing I ate before. Bad thing I didn't eat Indian food. You should have ordered Indian. Food. I know. I know. Should we just order some now? Namaste, Namaskar. Welcome to David's Been Here. This is your host, David Hoffman, and my father, Thomas Hoffman. And today, we're finally meeting each other for the first time in about 45, 50 days. I got back from a trip in Bhutan. I stayed home for 15 days, and then lockdown happened. And basically, we haven't seen each other, but we've both been staying home. We've only gotten takeout, and that's basically been it. And the supermarket a few times, and uh, luckily for us, you know, uh, Miami-Dade County has very little cases in comparison to the rest of the country. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an Indian beer versus American beer. I got the three beers I could find from India. I got the Power 10,000, I got the Taj Mahal, Kingfisher, which is like the beer of India, and then I have five beers from the United States. These are all five like independent brewers, so micro brewers or craft beers from uh, different states, Colorado, Delaware, they have a California in here. So we're gonna go through all of them, we're gonna taste test. And the reason I got these, because I don't drink regular beer in America, I am more of a beer snob, I like craft beer. But this is all I can find from India. I know there's also craft beer in India, I went to a craft brewery in Calcutta, but it's not so easy to find here, they don't really export it. Are you ready? I'm ready, I'm ready. So I think we should try Kingfisher first. Okay, which is the most popular. The most popular, it is okay. the beer of India, and I'm, I'm gonna and, tell you uh, about it. Kingfisher Premium is a lager that is manufactured by the United Breweries Group in Bangalore, Karnataka. It was launched in 1978 and contains 4.8 alcohol, so it's not as strong as my personal favorite, which is the Kingfisher Strong, which mm -hmm. has like 8%, and the Kingfisher Strong also comes in a big one like this. This is a very, very soft, you know, this is four soft. and a half percent. Yeah. This is very Bud Light, Budweiser, Corona. But it tastes good. It's corona? not bad. Corona? Ah. No, not Corona. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not drinking Corona. <laughs> Forget the 19. Right? Not today. All right, so here we go. Kingfisher. Kingfisher. Premium. Mm. It's very light. Light. Beat I, could drink, I could drink down, just gulp down the whole thing in one yeah. shot. It's, yeah. very, it's, it's a beach beer. It's a beach beer. It's a beach beer. It's good. I mean, if you're not into beer, if you don't like hoppiness, too much malt, dark beers, this is something very easy. Uh, beach, for sure, you can have easily five of these and not really feel anything. Yeah, very you know, light. Four point very whatever, light. 4.6%. I wonder how it goes with Indian food. What would you eat yeah. it with? What would you eat it with? With something spicy. Okay, just to calm of, the heat. Calm yeah. the heat. Usually okay. that's what they do, they quench the heat, like, you know, your palate. Like a dal, with a dal maybe? Maybe a spicy dal. <laughs> you, you brought me the dal the other day, I almost died. By the way, I, I got this from Kerala. This is the second one I got, the long one. This is the first one, and my dad had to try it. I'm looking at him, he's Indian now. <laughs> I'm gonna take him to India, but probably I'll take him to like a, yeah. a startup like in the Himachal or one of these northern states. We haven't done a video in a long time, you know? I you know, guys I may know. be wondering, I was, I was disappeared, but I broke my nose in November. So I couldn't film anything because I had my nose like, not in the cast, but you know, it didn't look good. Now, I hope you guys like my new nose. <laughs> <laughs> well, good? Good. Cheers. Should we finish it? It's very light. It's light. I'll tell you, I've tried all three of these. My personal favorite is this one. It's also the strongest. Power 10,000. Power 10,000. Sounds like you're gonna have 10,000 volts going to you. Oh, for sure. <laughs> so what do you wanna try next? I feel like you should try this one. This one is from Kona Brewery, and it's called the Big Wave Golden Ale. I actually went there when I went to Hawaii. I went to Kona on yeah. the big island. Is this from Hawaii? Yeah, Kona. So Kona Brewing has a big wave golden ale. It's an American blonde ale that contains 4.4 alcohol and is brewed in Kona, Hawaii on the big island. Good, good. All right. So we're gonna be swept away. We are. We are. Mahalo. Mahalo, what's mahalo? <laughs> mahalo, uh, like when you say hi. Mahalo. 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 Right. So it's the same as saying namaste 
or, or similar, India, similar. similar. You're drinking with the left, so I'll drink with the left. Yeah. Cheers. How do you say cheers in Indian? Ah. I don't think there's a word for that. Okay. <laughs> cheers. cheers. Mm. Nice. Tasty. What's funny though is that hoppy. It's a little, a little hoppy. I mean, it's golden ale, so it's not like so hoppy like an IPA. Okay. But what's funny about this uh, beer is that it's actually not brewed in Hawaii. They have they have an extra like their sister factory on the mainland because yeah. it costs them too much money to take to it ship. out. Yeah. So it's it's originated in Hawaii, but it's made where in California. Probably? It's made in Washington, I think. Washington, Washington State? is where they make it, and then they ship it within the mainland. Correct. They say the mainland. Good. It's Cheers. good though, right? Yeah, yeah. Cheers. I like it. Nice light beer. We should have ordered some Indian food for this. I know we should have. Right? I know, Anna, right? We'll do another video. Some Dahi Puris food. or something? <laughs> Anna, are you eating Indian food? No, she's eating like Peruvian. What are you eating? Hawaiian food. Hawaiian? Oh, it is Hawaiian food. <laughs> it's poke. Poke? Oh, okay. So, because we have five Americans and only three Indians, we're going to jump onto another American beer right now. So, what do you think we should try? Just pick know. it randomly. Uh, this one. What is that? Let's Victory, see. the Golden Monkey. Golden Monkey. So it's a Belgian style triple ale, 9.5%. Could be Indian, no? Golden Monkey with that name. Uh, it could be. Monkey. I mean, it's uh, so it's from Downingtown, Pennsylvania. The Golden Monkey is a Belgian triple produced by Victory Brewing Company. Victory. I bet you there's more monkeys in India than in America. That's for sure, Don. Well, maybe. Depends on how no, you think about sure. it. <laughs> 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 all right, open it up. All right. The Golden Monkey, Belgian Triple. Mm, that's tasty. Mmm. Mmm. This one will hit you in the head. Yeah, right. <laughs> stronger. This this is nine point five. Though. Yeah, it's stronger. You can feel it. And the thing about craft beer is most of the time, you know, when they go in with the IPAs, Belgian stouts, all this other stuff, it gets a little stronger. Uh, over here on the Indian side, it usually it's lighter, but if you go, like I went to a brewery in Calcutta, and everything was a little stronger, but nothing past like 8%, you know? They just I mean, don't. we're used to drinking 11%, 12%. So, you know, yeah. Well, this one, you see this one, 90 minutes, they have 120 minutes. 17%. I know. You have no, one, you strong. Done. This one is This one is strong. Th that one is like, you know, Delaware. I can drink, I can drink a bottle of wine by myself and not get drunk. <laughs> but if I have a very strong beer <laughs> on the second one, I'm like, ooh. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. Especially, um, um, I think with an empty stomach though, it's even worse. No, no, no. I, it's a good thing I ate before. Bad thing I didn't eat Indian food. So what's next, Dad? Tash. Let's do Tash. 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 Tash Mahal, Temple of Love, right? I've never been in India, but I know that's what it means, right? Yeah, he built it for his late wife, so. Interesting. Here we go. I'll so go there one day with you. You will, you will. And then we'll eat street food and you'll get sick and then I'll hold I you. I won't get sick. Why would I get sick? <laughs> Everybody gets sick. Actually, actually, I do want to go to India. I do. I, I do. know. I yeah, know. I'm very puzzled by, uh, by the whole uh, culture and everything. And, you know, I, I, I meditate and I follow a guru from India, Sadhguru. You, you've heard of him? I have. Have you? Yeah. It's uh, it's interesting. He's got, got good teachings. I don't know if you guys agree or not, but I like him a lot. So this beer is a Taj Mahal Premium. It's an American lager by the United Breweries Group in Bangalore. Same company that produces the Kingfisher, okay? 4.5% alcohol. Uh, it's known for having a clear golden color and smell and flavor that reminds you of the malt grain and sweet corn. It is said to be a good beer to pair with spicy food. Yeah, because it quenches there you are. the spice. Okay, hold on. There's some complication here. Okay. Taj. Taj. Okay. From the Taj Mahal. Mmm. See, it has a different taste in the Kingfisher, but very similar. But it's but it's in the same family, no? Same family. But it's light. It's, it's a super lager. light. It's a lager. I can see this with street food. You can be having. Can you have a drink? Mm. You can't drink with street food in see, India. See, in, no? in India, finding a drink is not. Like it's you not have to easy. go to like a restaurant that, that serves it. Is it a religious thing or a I spiritual thing? Yeah. Thanks for the yeah. respect. I yeah. respect everybody as long as they respect me. But then you go to Japan and you're gonna have an open container in the street. Yeah. And everybody's drinking sake. No, it's no, 10 in the morning, sake. 
listen, we all have different cultures. We all have different beliefs, different cultures. I think the important thing is to respect everybody's cultures, you know, mm -hmm. and be respected too, of course, yeah. which is sometimes not easy. Salud. Salud. This is, it's good. I actually like this more than, mm. than the Kingfisher. Kingfisher strong though is the best. But you can have this, like, this is good for a meal. Like it doesn't, it, you know, it, it washes down the meal, but it doesn't make you feel heavy. I mean, you could drink the whole thing and not, nah, yeah. not feel heavy. What is it, 4% alcohol? It's 4.6. Uh, uh, it 4. feels 6. like 3%. Have you ever had a 3%? It's like water. It's water. 4.5. 4.5, but it feels right. watery. I mean, it's good. It's good. It's light. So we have how many now? Okay, so we did two Indians. We did two Americans. Now we have to do two Americans, one Indian. Not the, yeah, right? Yeah, and then one more. Okay. How many have we had? So let's go with the lighter one. Mind. Let's go with the lighter one. Let's go like one of these because this one's the strongest. Yeah, so let's leave that for last. Okay. So the Voodoo Ranger. Okay, so the Voodoo Ranger is actually an awesome beer. I've actually had it on yeah, flight. Right? It's like the only beer, craft beer on American Airlines flights. Like craft beer, this is the really? one. This is the one they're serving. So New Belgium Brewing Company Voodoo Ranger is an American IPA that has 7% alcohol. It comes from their facility in Fort Collins, Colorado. Anna, so we go there? We go to Colorado? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, nah. Anna, Anna's like, let's nah. go back to Napa. So we're going to do the Voodoo Ranger. Okay, voila. Voodoo Ranger. Made in Fort Collins, right, Colorado? Yes, sir. So we're going with the New Belgium Voodoo. Mm. That's tasty. Tasty. That's tasty. Stronger that's, also. That's hoppy. That's no. what hops is? Like, yeah, um, it's a little hoppy. Yeah. You don't taste it? You know, it's funny because the hop. I don't, know what, I don't know what hoppy means exactly. It, it's a hop. The actual, no, I know what it is. I just don't know how to equate that with a taste. A hoppy. If, if you have, so if you had. To me, it sounds like a grasshopper. No, but if you have it's this like one, the lager, uh -huh. and you have this one. You can the taste difference? the difference. No, you can taste the difference. But that difference is always similar in all the IPAs. Got it. So IPAs are hoppy. Mm hmm So I'll tell you the story of the IPA. Somebody told me this crazy, crazy story. So what's an IPA? What does the IPA mean? You know? No. Ah, oh, Bobby. I have no idea. Indian Pale Ale. Ah, yeah, you're right. I've heard that before, yeah. So pale ale is this type of beer, right? Okay. And what happened is that during, like during, you know, when the, when England- Colonial had, times. Yeah, during British colonial times in India, they would ship the beer from Great Britain over to India. This is a story I heard. It's not 100% factual. I mean, it's not like- It's a story. It's a story. Somebody told me it's in a brewery in like Ireland or something. And then he told me that like, so what happened is they ship the beer, but they throw extra hops in the beer so that it survives the journey under Africa. Correct. Because during that time they go under Africa. To India. To survive that six month mm -hmm. journey, three month journey, whatever. So what happened is one of the uh, vessels, like one of the ships, like, like literally left and then hit a rock and all the beer, all the barrels came onto shore and people found barrels on the beach and they opened it up and they drink the beer and it's so hoppy. And they were like, oh, Indian pale ale. I got it. And that's how I started. But we don't know the story. We don't know story. the real story. I mean, but that's what they said happened is that Let's they would- Let's research it. But they would make so much hops. Like they would make it so like hoppy, mm -hmm. so strong too, that it would survive. Cause if not, then it'd be just flat. Correct. You know? So. Oh, these are not flat. Power 10,000. Huh? Power 10,000? It sounds like sure? 10,000 volts. It sounds like 10,000 volts. Do you know what that is? So the Power 10,000 is an American malt liquor by Salm Distilleries and Breweries, which is based in Bo Bhopal. Okay. Bhopal. 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 Uh, in India. Its percentage is 6.8, and it's known for its hazy golden yellow color, minor floral notes, and flavor that has been described as wheat bread mixed with cornbread. That sounds okay. great. Let's this is actually my favorite of all of them. Really? It tastes, tastes. It's because it's, it's better so strongest. Taste. Is it strongest? No, it's a better taste. It's a better taste? I mean, it's, it's not that strong, like, mm. compared to one of these. It's not of course. Anything. These are double here. All right. Uh, I'm getting to the point where if I have too much more beer, I'm gonna well. be like. All right, my favorite Indian beer, the Power 10,000. I don't even know where it's from. Here we go. Salud. No, you'll find out where it's from. 
Tastier, right? Better. I think I like it better than the Kingfisher. Uh, it's it's the best. It's the best generic beer in yeah. India for me. The one that you'll find in more restaurants. It's I've got seen. more body flavor. I mean, it's, it's just overall better. I it's think. different. It's not for people who like you know watery beer. I mean, some people like this, and I respect that. Maybe some people like you know maybe some ladies also they drink beer and they drink a very light beer. Well, I, I mean, if you don't want to like. If you don't want to blur your words. Yeah, you do. And if you do, you go for the 10,000 or the else. IPA there. All right, you like it? I like it. I think it's got body, it's got good taste. Overall, from the Indian beers, I stay with the power 10,000, personally. Yeah, me too. I like it. So we next, like the stronger. So next time we go to an Indian restaurant that has beer? Power 10,000, can we order it in an Indian restaurant? Here? Yeah, it's I, I bought it from an Indian restaurant. Oh, okay. Yeah. If okay. they don't have it, then I'm not drinking beer. How many, how many Indian beers are there? Do you know? There's a lot. I, There's a lot. I, I actually have a list here, guys. Let me let me tell you really fast here. So, of Indian beers, besides the three we have, the top local beers in India: Kingfisher, Hayward's Five Thousand, which is from uh, from Mumbai. And we had Godfather. Godfather is from Jammu. Wow. So from Kashmir area. Knockout, which is from Mumbai. Royal Challenge, Mumbai. Bira 91 is actually like the craft brewery. Bira 91, and they have so popularity in Indian cities since the launch of 2015. They have a light beer, 4%. Most of their beers are 7%, and then they have a super strong boom lager. Whoa. Good. And you know what? Maybe maybe some of the viewers can contribute. Maybe they have beers that we don't know about. They can tell us. Send us the beer. Send us the comments. No, send us the beer. The beer. Oh, okay. I, don't, I don't want comments. No comments. <laughs> Salud. <laughs> <clears throat> so what do you want to do next? Now we gotta switch to an American. Go for a lighter one, this one, no? So this is Elysian Brewing Company, Space Dust, American IP, it think 8.2% produced in Seattle, Washington, so a strong beer, and then we're gonna end with the strongest right here, which is nine. So it's a good beer. I heard it's really amazing. I never tried this one before. Ready to open it up? Ready. Let's open. Da -da -da. Okay, go. so what are we trying now? I don't know, do you remember? I remember the Elysian. 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 Elysian Space Dust IPA. All right. Let's take a shot at this. Let's see. Salud. See, that's hoppy. Very hoppy. It's, a, it's like a cloudy. You can taste the cloud, right? Is that what it is? Yeah. A you cloud, feel it, right? Like I have a cloud in it's my like mouth. Thick. It's like thicker. So hoppy means having a cloud in your mouth. Kind of. No, no. Hoppy is hoppy. Hoppy is hoppy. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know what hoppy is. <laughs> I, I can taste hoppy, but I don't know what hoppy is. You know this. Google it. The mm. hop and the marijuana bud are cousins. Oh. Can you believe that? Cousins? Yeah, they're cousin plants. Okay. <laughs> It seems to me that the beer is affecting your judgment. Nah, it's, it's affecting your judgment. <laughs> By the way, this is the best glass on earth. Right? <clears throat> is it? Yeah. It's Guinness, but it's a compet competitive show. No, it's Guinness. 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 Guinness, the best beer on earth. Well, it was my introduction to beer, so. You had a good time at Guinness, no? Oh, I love Guinness. Did they give you anything to eat or just beer? No, they just fed you beer. Beer. It's like bear. You breakfast and you have a bear. A bear. A bear. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're we're over the edge. We're over the edge though. Okay, so the last one. Oh, we have. last but not least. Dogfish Head IPA. Yeah, but Imperial tell me, IPA. Tell me why it shows a shark and it's named the dog. Dogfish. You know why? Because in Italian, no, is, in Italian, shark is pesce cane, which means pesce dog cane. fish. Oh, dog fish. So it's an Italian... I don't know. I don't know. God of my... <laughs> so it's a dog fish. I can't even see with my, my glasses. I know, I see a shark. Does your head hurt from this? No, 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 no. Okay. This shark here in Italian is pesce cane. So this is why the fish is called dog fish. <laughs> <laughs> so the last one we have is the Dogfish 90 Minute Imperial IPA. Pesce cane in Italian. Pesce cane. It's the strongest beer in the whole lineup. Is it? 9%. Is there anything stronger than this? 
Yeah, I told you they have 120 minute, which is 17. So it's like but dope. the same people. Woo. That's the strongest one I ever tried. See, when you have two of these, Woo. it's like you had a bottle of wine. I know. It, the, the good thing is the six pack, six pack is not that expensive. Yeah. And you drink two. So you get happy for little money. The problem is I usually drink four and then I feel like hell. Eh, not a good idea. You have to feel good, <laughs> not like hell. Salud. <laughs> oh my God. I actually love beer. Love it. I've been staying off it because I've been trying to lose some weight. And I, actually, that's why I feel yeah. better. If I go to India, do I have to wear this every day? Oh, if you wear it, I love you. Yeah. Guys, let him know how much you love him if if, <laughs> if he wears every day. I mean, it feels good, doesn't it though? But my old nose would have been better in India. No, you know, hold on, let me fix your nose. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, let's go, let's rate this. Okay. okay. So what do you think? Best beer. Full body, full body. Okay, well, what's the best beer? What's the best beer? Well, most tasty that one, is that this one. one. That one. The Voodoo. The Voodoo. Voodoo Ranger, that's the tastiest. No wonder they picked it for, for American Airlines also, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a hard deal. Yeah. I mean, that's, imagine how many of those beers in every single airline, wow. I mean, every single plane, oof, big deal. Uh, next one? Um, I'd say the one we're drinking. Yeah. I like I it, know, I it's got a full body. I, feel like I like this, everything with a full body. I feel body. like these are the three that like I would definitely like drink on a mm. daily basis. My friends, yeah, yeah. And for India, yeah, yeah, that's power it. ten thousand for yeah. sure. It, it's a little hard here because I did get craft beer from America. I wasn't going with Budweiser and stuff. I mean, just like there's no point. Why haven't we drink this one? Uh, it's, oh, it's take, the same thing. You take Fisher. it home. You take it home. Oh, okay. I'll drink it tonight. All right. With the Indian food. Oh, please. With dahi puri. Get some dahi puri. Call, call right now. See if they have dahi puri. Dahi puri. Oh, so okay. Nice. And then uh, so. I guess, yeah, for me, these are the four top of our lineup right now. I mean, this is really hard. Obviously, we don't have any craft beer from India. This is just the main beers that I can find. Really hard to find. Actually, really expensive. I spent $30 just on this. Woo! In India, they would kill you if you spend nah, that kind of money for they'd beer. Be like, no way. No How way. much is this beer in India? Like, I have no dollar, idea. Maybe? Definitely not. That was 10 $10 no, that, for one bottle. That was 10 10 and then 5 and 5 Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. And then over here, we actually get good deals in America. Um, we're allowed to go to a grocery store and if they have a six pack bottles that's open, you can take one out and then pay for that on itself. I mean, that's at the Windy It's buy cheaper house. if you buy the whole thing. It's crazy. Yeah, it's cheaper. I mean, it's crazy. So what's weird is that you can just take the six out and separate one of those them. things one that don't make sense. <laughs> Doesn't make sense, but it's good. Uh, total price here. So I spent 12 total with tax and tip. This is 30, right? So that's like almost 50 US dollars to do this, plus our time. Ooh, are you gonna pay me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not paying you. <laughs> He's not paying me. I'm paying him with the headpiece, dude. That's oh, yours for okay, life. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's I, my I, contribution. I can finally touch him. This is a contribution. I don't know if he wants to touch me. He has to wash his hands now. Yeah, Corona, <laughs> Corona hands. No, it's no joke, Dad, it's no joke. I know, but, it's uh, not a joke. It's a, it's a serious stuff, but we're, we, we think we're safe, so. I mean, we haven't been out. We're not in a super hot zone. We really don't do anything. I mean, I'm with my kids, he's with my mom, that's it, so. We eat, we drink, we sleep. We eat, we drink, we sleep. And I'm sure you guys, you do the same. Yeah, it's a hard time. Everybody it's a new world, it. it's a new world. But yeah. we're gonna go over it. It's gonna change. Soon. Soon, soon. So? Salud. How do you say salud in India? Ah. ah. Okay, you guys, make the comment, it show, us, show us how you say cheers in India. Yeah, cheers, cheers. I have no comment. idea, and with all his experience, he has no idea either. Because the thing is that people don't you drink. Don't drink. I don't go to bar. Yeah, you don't go to bar, you eat. You do, but you it's eat. like, it's, it's, it's not, like you have to go after it. Please, comment on how you say cheers. All right. Prost. Prost, salud. Cheers. Salute. Eh, salud. Brindiamo, italiano. All languages. But we need an Indian. All right. So which one do you want more of? I think I'm the more, same. You want this one? The same, yeah. Okay. I'm already a little happy, so let's get happier. That's oh, good. you want me to drink all that? Oh, I'll, drink the, I'll drink this one. Ah, oh, the space dust is good. Nah. I would have some butter chicken right now. YOLO. YOLO? What's YOLO? YOLO? YOLO. 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 Okay, YOLO. <laughs> Yeah, YOLO. You only live once. 